morning everyone welcome back to another vlog so today is saturday it's the weekend and steven and i have just been having a nice chill saturday morning we cuddled up in bed for a while and baby girl was kicking so hard this morning and usually her movements are a little bit more like subtle and muffled because i have an anterior placenta so it kind of like pads the movement a little bit but today <laughs> today she was kicking so hard and steven got to feel her move and it was definitely the clearest movements that he's ever gotten to feel so that was really special and we hung out outside with the dogs for a little while and now he is upstairs playing video games and i am getting ready to head off to target which is always exciting because i love target but today it's extra exciting because i am buying the last few things on my packing list for my hospital bag which i'm thinking i'll probably pack on like tuesday or wednesday because i have my 28 week parentology scan on thursday i think but basically for anyone who hasn't been following along a little TLDR there's a loop in the umbilical cord and right now it's not causing baby girl any issues which is great but the doctors are worried that it could potentially turn into a knot and restrict her growth and so they have me going in to these ultrasounds every few weeks to just check up on the loop and the status of it and hopefully all of those appointments will be uneventful and they'll just be like yep looks fine still and I'll be able to carry baby girl to full term and not have to be induced but there is the chance that at any one of those appointments if they see that the loop is restricting her growth, it's become a knot, they will send me to be induced into early labor. And because that's a possibility, just for my own peace of mind, I wanna have my hospital bag packed early and just have it in the car when we go to those ultrasound scans. And there's really no downside to packing it early. I can always change and adjust things as I get closer to my due date. But I think for my own peace of mind, I just wanna have the bag packed. Wanna have it ready in case I do end up having to be induced and I can feel as prepared as possible. Also, I'm just excited to pack the hospital bag. I feel like that's a really fun thing and I'm such like a type A planner organizer. So there will probably be a vlog sometime later this week where I'm actually showing you what's in the bag and actually packing it. But today I just have to get the last few things from Target. So we're gonna go do that. But before we do, I'm gonna make some lunch. And actually I'm really excited to try this. So I have a daily harvest subscription. I actually tried it for a main channel video and I ended up liking it so much that I've just kept the subscription and usually I get the bowls and the smoothies, but they added these broccoli flatbreads. Sounds good to me. So I got this tomato and basil one and I'm gonna make this for lunch today. So I think, yeah, I think the oven is just about preheated. So perfect timing. Also, I, I need to separate this curl. It's a little too clumpy, that's better. And I'm wearing these earrings and this necklace from a small business that I purchased from for my next main channel video, which I think will be up by the time this video goes up. So if it is, I will link it in the description. But the business is called Whole Hoops and the jewelry is so freaking cute. I got these hoops and then the business owner sent me six little moonstone beads, three for each hoop. And they're supposed to represent like one for me, one for Steven and one for baby girl. And so not only are they just like beautiful and stunning and simple, but I love the meaning behind it. It's just so sweet. So I will link Whole Hoops in the description. Definitely check them out. Especially when I'm wearing my hair up in a bun like I am today, I feel like wearing jewelry just kind of elevates the look. I mean, I'm literally, I'm literally just wearing a white t-shirt and my maternity jeans, but somehow the jewelry makes it look like a full-on outfit. So love that. All right, I am gonna make my flatbread. Put you in there, Mr. Flatbread, and see you in... 20 minutes. Alrighty, yo, our flatbread is done. And then I added some cashews and some celery and peanut butter to complete my lunch. Got some water here. I have always been a big water drinker, but pregnancy has made me even more so. Like I, I'm just constantly drinking water, constantly having to pee. But you know what? Hydration is important. So friendly reminder to drink some water today. All right, let's try this flatbread. Mmm, that's so freaking good. I am a big broccoli person though, so if you're not, you probably wouldn't like this. <laughs> but it's super flavorful. It's got like some crunch to it still. The kale's really good. The tomatoes are super flavorful. Big fan. I'm gonna get more of these in my next box. Also, Daily Harvest, sponsor me. <laughs> Please, I love you. 
All right, here is my shopping list. Let's get to it. So first thing, I wanted to get some button-up pajama tops for nursing, easy nursing access in the hospital, and also just for postpartum in general. And they have a whole bunch of different sets like this that I think also come with a little matching pair of shorts. I like this pink tie-dye, but it looks like they only have it in a small or extra small, so. Not for me. I also like the gray one though. I think I'm gonna get it in the double XL. Oh, this one comes with, I think, pre-length pants instead of shorts, which honestly I like better. So we'll get that. I also found these like really lightweight thin ones, which since my due date is the end of spring, kind of right before summer, probably gonna be a lot more comfortable in this. And they sell the bottoms and tops separately, which I kind of just want the tops anyways, cause I really like all the pajama bottoms I have. I just want the button up top. This is really the only print I like though that they have in these lighter weight ones so I'm just gonna get this one. I think that's fine for pajamas and now I am gonna try and find a nursing bra which I have already ordered one online so if I don't find one I like here it's it's fine. Plus bra shopping in person very much overwhelms me. <laughs> okay I found a little section with maternity and nursing bras and these also look really nice and thin and lightweight kind of like bralette like. So they have the Bravado brand and also the Auden. Auden? Auden? <laughs> whatever that is brand um they look pretty much the same what's the price difference all right this one is 25 dollars, and this one is 15 dollars. so i'm gonna go with this one and an xl perfect okay i am gonna grab all of my mini toiletries on my list real quick all right got all of those that aisle was very stressful very crowded for some reason i thought that maybe there was a chance they would have travel size surave face wash because that's what i like to use but they didn't so i'll probably just bring my whole thing of CeraVe face wash or I'll just pour a little bit into like a travel size bottle. But the next thing I actually need to pick out is one of these toiletry kits. My toiletry kit broke on the last trip that I took before the pandemic, which was just a little weekend trip up to LA for a shoot, but I never replaced it because I haven't needed one since. <laughs> and now I need one, so. I think I'm gonna go with this one. I like the simple black with the gold and this seems like a good size for the amount of products that I will be bringing. Unrelated to the hospital bag, but but last time I came to Target like a week ago, I was trying to restock my conditioner, but they were sold out. And so I thought I was gonna have to go to Ulta, but now I don't need to because it's back in stock. Yay. And you know what? We'll just stock up <laughs> while we're here, while it's in stock. Well, it looks like it's my lucky day. Look at this. One little uh, CeraVe travel size facial cleanser just sitting in the face wash section. Also unrelated to my hospital bag, but I was running low on this moisture mist that I use and that is in stock as well. So I'm gonna get some of that. Next thing we need, oh so glamorous, um, adult diapers, wow. In the hospital, they give you mesh underwear and like adult diapers because that's a thing that you need after you give birth. <laughs> but um, my friends who are moms helped me a lot with my hospital packing list. And one of them said the mesh underwear at the hospital was great. And the other one said they didn't like it. And they were really glad that they brought their own depends and since i'm gonna need those for when i come home from the hospital anyways figure i might as well get some now and put a couple in my hospital bag in case i don't like the ones that the hospital gives me and my friend sent me a link to the exact kind that she liked the best this is the real side of preparing for birth <laughs> And the last thing on my list is just a little folder for all the paperwork from the hospital and also to keep my birth plan in so that it doesn't get all crinkled in the bag for the hospital. This one looks cute and fancy and it's a three pack so I can keep all the hospital paperwork organized because according to my friends, you will get a heck of a lot of paperwork from the hospital. Well, that was great. I got literally every single thing that was left on my list. So I am totally ready to pack my hospital bag. And I even got my hair stuff that I thought I was going to have to go to Ulta for. So even better. So I'm going to head home and I actually have some quick sponsored Instagram stories that I need to film. I feel like I always say this. I try not to work on the weekends, but uh, sometimes things just spill over. And this is literally just an Instagram story, like four frames of me showing off some cute stuff from a brand that I love. So it should be really quick and easy. And then I think Steven and I are going to go on a walk this evening and we have WandaVision to watch tonight. It's been a good day so far and we've got a good evening to look forward to later. So I got my Instagram stories filmed and then I actually sat down 
at the computer and edited this whole vlog, everything I filmed so far. So good productive Saturday afternoon and now Steven and I are about to head out for our walk. Also, after the last vlog where it was such a struggle to get my running shoes on, I have decided I'm officially setting those aside until after pregnancy. <laughs> and even then, it might just be time to retire them all together. They're kind of falling apart. I've had them for like three years, I think. So I had been saying for a while that I wanted to get new running shoes anyways. So I did order some new ones online in a wide fit. So hopefully those will be a little bit more comfortable for the rest of my pregnancy. And then also they'll definitely still work post-pregnancy, even when my feet shrink back to not being so wide and swollen. <laughs> but for now, I'm actually just gonna wear my Air Force Ones, which these I usually wear just as like a cute shoe with like a normal outfit, not as like a walking shoe. But they're definitely wider than my running shoes, so way more comfortable, way more pregnancy friendly for sure. <laughs> but I still could use some help with the tying. Steven, <laughs> here, it's way easier than on the side of the road like we were yesterday. Wow, you can bring your foot up to tie. See, it's not the bringing the foot up, it's the bending down to tie it that, mm -hmm. oh, I left my wa Apple Watch upstairs. I should go put that uh, back on. Next. Love it. Mm -hmm. okay. do it. Thank you. I'm going to go grab my Apple Watch and then walking time. Did you have a good video game day? I did. I got a lot of work done on the pool today. Oh. So it was like get the pool back up to speed a little bit and then went upstairs played some games and then I hung out my brother online So it was so cute when I was sitting at the desk editing I kept hearing you like do your little boyish shrieks and laughs Yeah, that and just giggling and I could just tell you were having a great time having fun. So then tonight uh, we're gonna play with some of his friends online kind of once everything winds down and we go to bed So but don't forget before that WandaVision. WandaVision. I saw like stuff on Instagram and I was like, no! I have been very carefully avoiding spoilers, so I am unspoiled. As am I. We are out on our walk. It is a beautiful sunset today. A little bit chillier than it was yesterday, so. No, it's cold today. Well, okay, cold for San Diego. It's like yeah. 65. <laughs> it is a brisk high of 64 today, and Ooh. right now it's like 58. So that is a chilly day for us since <laughs> here in San Diego. Ah, we're back lit. <laughs> no, it's beautiful. I love it. Look at that sun. It's like that perfect, uh, what's the word? Hold on, if we turn this way, then we get it. Ooh, look at that. What's the word I'm thinking of? That I always say? The glow. Golden hour. Oh, yeah, Golden hour. <laughs> Pregnancy brain makes talking just like 10 times harder. <laughs> Anyways, beautiful golden hour lighting. Nice evening stroll with my husband. It doesn't get better than this. Love you. <laughs> Love you. Steven is making dinner and I have a lush package here to unbox, which first of all, I am very excited about because I, I love bath bombs, I love baths. Especially during pregnancy, I feel like the frequency at which I have been taking baths has gone up significantly. It used to be like a once a week, I'd take a bath and do all my skincare kind of thing. But in pregnancy, and especially at this stage in pregnancy, by the end of the day, my body is just so tired soaking in the tub is like what keeps me going. <laughs> a bath bomb every time but I do I just love having a bath bomb like tonight now that this package is here definitely using a bath bomb but this package was actually supposed to arrive like three weeks ago and I'm pretty sure it just got delayed because of all the winter storms but it had kept getting delayed and then last Saturday so a week from today I got an email from Lush that was like exciting your package arrives tomorrow like the tracking says it'll be there by 8 p.m. tomorrow and then it didn't arrive tomorrow and so I thought maybe it got lost in the mail but it finally got here today so I'm very glad that I don't have to deal with with like going through all the lost package stuff. And I get to use a bath bomb tonight. So I like, I stocked up, stocked up. But you know what, pregnancy's hard and bath bombs make it a little easier. So uh, I'm, I'm gonna give myself a break. <laughs> I'm like embarrassed to say <laughs> how many bath bombs are in this box. Also we have some nice background ambiance of Steven's cooking sounds. So I got 10 of the sex bomb bath bombs. These are my all time favorite. These are what I use the most. It smells delicious. It feels amazing on my skin. We're just gonna load those up into my little uh, bath sign tray here. Two, three, four, a five, six, seven, eight. And uh, I might need a bigger little wire basket for my bath bombs. But this will last me so long. And that's the thing because I'm not like going in store to Lush or I don't wanna make a whole trip to the mall just to go to Lush. I'd rather be stocked up and set 
through uh, the rest of my pregnancy and postpartum. Nine and 10. And then there were two other types of bath bombs that I saw on the website that seemed like they would be right up my alley, but I hadn't tried before. And these ones, they wrapped, they didn't wrap the, uh, the sex bombs, but I got two of the Love Boat bath bombs. Oh no, I think this one, I think this one broke a little bit. <laughs> okay, and one of the goddess bath bombs. So that is my way too big lush bath bomb haul. But you know what? Like I said, I like to stock up. And in the long run, it'll it'll save me money on shipping because I won't have to place an order. So I'll keep telling myself that. <laughs> So I went ahead and actually stored most of the sex bombs under my sink. That way this basket isn't too full, but I am so excited to have a nice little bath night tonight while Stephen plays his video games. So my beautiful bath bombs, we will check back in with you after dinner and WandaVision. <laughs> well, that looks delicious. What do we have for dinner tonight, my love? We have like this sparrow chickpea bowl. One of our Blue Apron meals for yep. the week. We got uh, roasted bell peppers in there, roasted tomatoes. <sighs> Uh, a nice like tahini sauce. Well, that looks amazing. Thank you so much. Yeah, I'm so excited. I'm a hungry boy. Well, first of all, thank you so much for cooking. Yes. That was is that Bella behind you? Yeah. Heads <laughs> up. <laughs> you want to come join the vlog, honey? Uh oh. And another one. Oh. Got the whole circus here. Watch out! Watch out! Oh no! Oh, this won't end well. Well, what I was trying to say was thank you so much for cooking. Yeah. Dinner was delicious. Mm -hmm. And second of all. Oh my gosh, that, it, it was episode eight of WandaVision was insane. Yeah, it was, episode was called Previously On and it was really good. This show is like surprisingly good. Every episode is just surprisingly way better. Uh-huh. All right, maybe we should go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is probably better, but um, yes, WandaVision episode eight, fantastic. We won't give any spoilers, yeah. but there is a line at the end of the episode that gave me full body chills. <laughs> like full, full goosebumps from my head to my toes. It was beautiful, fantastic. Yeah. This show is like, it's a masterpiece. It really is. <laughs> All right, well, thank you for making dinner. Thanks for yeah. watching WandaVision with me. Mm, what I time, love you. <laughs> love you. what time are you playing games? Um, I might go, app and in like an hour is another thing when I told him I would get on, so. Okay, well why don't we, to hang out. yeah, let's hang out for a bit. We'll cuddle on the couch with the dogs because clearly they uh, very much need some attention, some yeah. love. Those little needy girls. We'll hang out for a little bit and then I am gonna have a bath night spa night while you have your video game yeah. night. And I actually might jump on the Peloton too in the next half an hour. So. Oh, so you can close your rings before your video game night. Yep, and then that way then I can sit down, I can drink a beer and just kinda, I don't know. Zone out. Yeah. And Bella will stay with me for the girls' night. Woohoo! And Bruzy, my sweet little angel. Yes, you are. Look at this. I need to take a picture of this. I wish this camera had a wider angle. <laughs> Turn it this way. Look at us. Look at this makes me so happy. All right, you guys, it is time for a bath bomb. We're going with sex bomb, my favorite, my tried and true. Beautiful. <laughs> Also, another product I am just loving from that small business haul. This brand is called Recandled Kindled and they make eco-friendly candles with repurposed glassware. Such a cool idea and the scents are amazing. This one is really relaxing. I have been thoroughly enjoying it in my last few baths. So I will go ahead and link Recandled Kindled in the description, definitely check them out. But wow, this just, this could not look like a better night for me. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here. Thank Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it and we will see you very soon with the next one. Bye.